Hi, it's Christine. Um, I would like to do an update for May. Um, the last time I did an update for YouTube, it was regarding a couple of doctor appointments that I was considering. <clears throat> I'm not going to consider the bladder bag. My rehab doctor doesn't want me to because for number one, um, infection, and number two, um, less movement, you know, because <clears throat> I'm already not being moved enough that if I have no reason to transfer, that's just going to make me stiffer and stiffer. So one thing I would kind of like to educate people about what my condition does to me is it makes me very stiff and I'm also um, paralyzed so um, it it's really demanding and it the sensations are um, tightness you know people talk about the hug um, I have spasticity in all my muscles in my abdomen my lungs my shoulders so I'm really really hyper-toned and I need a lot of range of motion exercise to thrive so I'm going to have um, my doctor next week kind of outline what I need for what I'm aware of um, it's going to be a physical job so we'll see if the agency is able to provide me caregivers that can fulfill that job because it's hard for me to have one-on-one -on -one, um, assertiveness sometimes when you're when you're invulnerable sometimes uh, you don't feel like asking for help or you know you don't want to put anybody out so sometimes it'll take the suffering to avoid having to ask. Which, you know, in reality, you shouldn't have to ask. I, I think that if I had a regimen where if there was time, people should offer things like, um, you know, movement, range of motion, um, you know, shifting my chair if I sitting too long or if I am ready to transfer into which chair things like that would help so I'm seeking a certain type of caregiver I just got um, my neighbor hired on for the night shift she likes staying up the whole night so she ends up doing quite a bit of work and their family is feeding me so that's uh, a bonus because I don't even have people that really can prepare, help me, you know, make choices of what to make for dinner because sometimes, you know, I buy things and I'm very busy and since I never do go into the kitchen, it'd be nice to have somebody cook or suggest and I'm finding that it's more like, you know, um, I'm eating a lot more TV dinners. It's, everybody's different, but um, my new nighttime caregivers, they're definitely helping me by cooking, so I'm happy for that. Anyway, um, I also wanted to talk about um, some reviews that I have to co go through. Um, I'm trying to line up so my doctors specifically can write out those suggestions because otherwise people, um, I'm laying in bed, I feel like I'm dead. Tuna. It's so, so freaking mentally difficult. 
I keep myself in a routine, so that helps. I, if I didn't have a routine, I, I would probably go crazy. Go crazy, so I keep this routine. Pretty much do the same thing every day, and at least I'm productive. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't, I'm not suffering 24 7 because I, I am. But um, I was really hitting kind of rock bottom with just exhaustion. Exhaustion, you know, from having some um, home repair stuff going on. I had a um, dishwasher flood because people were rinsing plates. So the filter got clogged and flooded all over. Anyway, um, I got to get new flooring in my house, and, which might require painting. And it's like, you know, I thought I was overwhelmed enough, and then all of a sudden I have more to do. So I'm trying to sort out um, maybe the hopelessness needed to be replaced by busyness. I said to my friend today that that I was too busy to um, I think I said I was too busy to feel sorry for myself or something like that it's it's not that you feel sorry for yourself a lot I don't but um, I can't remember if that was the word that I used when I was talking to him but a lot of things are changing I might be able to rent my room out to a friend somebody that knows me got these construction projects coming up. Got to get the, this review. I'd like to set the bar higher for what I get. I'm going to try to ask for more hours of care because I don't like going to bed at 5.30 in the evening. And last but not least, I'm going to the media. They've been talking lately about something that I've been an advocate for a long time for vulnerable adults and the way things are being handled and um, I've been um, waiting to get this story off my chest and so I decided that this is a good time and I'm going to be hopefully sharing that with you soon. Thanks.